Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are back with another video, and today, we're going to be going riding. Uh, it's been a little while since we've done a riding video, but today, we're going to be taking the new Kawasaki on its first ride. I've taken it around the backyard, but I've never really taken it on a full, you know, ride through trails and everything for an extended period of time. So, I'm curious to see uh, how it will hold up. As it is right now, this thing runs mint, and then also, we are going to be taking the suzuki drz 110 it's been a while since that thing has been ripped as well but my friend dylan is going to be here soon but first i'm going to start off on the kawasaki uh just to test it out and do the first ride on it both of the bikes need um some stuff before we go i need to fill both of them up with gas so we don't run out while we're there i need to fill up the kawasaki's rear tire just a little bit it's a little bit low and then also as you guys know this thing doesn't have a front brake well a front brake lever it has front brakes uh, I mean, I've never tried them out before, but it feels like they should work just by pressing on the piston. But what I'm going to do, come on over to the United Motors DTF-150 and rob the front brake lever off of this. Transfer it over onto the Kawasaki. It should match right up, and then we will have front brakes on the Kawasaki. So let's get the brakes done first, and then we will do the rest, the remaining stuff. Right, guys so i didn't realize this before um the massive cylinder on the dtf doesn't have any back plate here back plate right there we come over here to the kawasaki um the master cylinder does have a back plate so the united motors you know front brake lever won't fit at all so i guess we're gonna be rocking no front brakes today but the rear ones work fine so we should be fine with that i usually don't even use my front brake that much while uh, trail riding so now that we got that out of the way um let's go over and just fill this up quick then we'll just fill both bikes and then be on our way it's a crazy caterpillar on here oh we fell off I just checked the uh, DRZ's tires and the back one's pretty low on this one too, so we'll fill it up and then we'll fill up the gas tanks. Okay. Alright, all full in there. All right, this one's all filled up. We are ready to go. So before we go, I gotta show you guys uh, my new goggles, they are sick. So here they are, pretty sweet. I've never owned goggles before, so should be uh, pretty nice. First ride with them, so I'm definitely excited about that. Then we got the Merica gloves as usual. But now we're just gonna wait on Dylan to get here and then we'll be on our way. All right guys, so it is a little while later and uh, Dylan is here. What's going on? <laughs> uh, we had to wait for his helmet, but it's here. Uh, but the bikes are ready to go. We just took them a, a, for a couple laps around the yard, make sure that they're running good, which they are. So uh, we'll catch you guys at the trails. All right, guys, so we just got to the entrance of the trails. Here is Dylan. <laughs> Gotta use that brake. <laughs> it's been raining for the past probably four days. Uh, today is like the only clear day, so I'm hoping that it's not muddy because I don't want to be slipping around everywhere. Right now, I'm just riding the Suzuki for now because Dylan fits better on the Kawasaki. So I'm just going to let him ride here and then I will try it out once we get to the low track part let's see where Dylan is it's been probably about seven years since Dylan has rode a dirt bike so uh, he's got to get back into it and all warmed up it's been a pretty long time since I've been back here as I said earlier so hopefully it's not all overgrown or anything and here we are oh man there's a pretty nice puddle right there might be a little slippery today what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna go around on the suzuki quick i'll let Dylan get warmed up on the bigger bike and i'll warm up on the smaller one and then we'll switch and then i can test out the kawasaki for the first time oh my god this is gonna be <laughs> a muddy day Woo! <laughs> let's go Oh man, they're railroad workers. We gotta get out of here. All right, they're railroad workers. I don't know if they want us here. One of them uh, was like, whoa. I mean, no one's really walking over here, but. They just got back to work. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what we could do is just not, not go on that strip 
and I just stay over there. This this thing's just loud. I mean, that one, they probably didn't hear you come by. All right, guys, we'll catch you guys back when we uh, come down on a decision on what we're going to do. All right, guys, so we just walked around of where we can ride, and it's really not that much. So I'm going to just see what I can do without, you know, getting close to over there. And I'm just going to use the Kawasaki just because it's way quieter, and I want to do the first ride on it. So we'll see what happens, and I mean, if not, then we might come back later when they're done and uh, rip around this whole track. <laughs> Uh, here we go, first time on the trails. Test the suspension, everything like that. Handling. Woo! Dang, this is actually a nice smooth ride. This is where I need to turn around because this leads to that sand pit that they can see me at. So I guess I'll just turn around and see what we can do in here. <laughs> yeah, they're not looking over here. I'm gonna try again. Try and rip it a little harder. I wanted to keep it quiet before. Honestly, these. Whoa! These. I was about to say. Oh, back tire just spun. These little puddles like help you like get above the banks and stuff. Because I'm, you know, I'm not the best rider, obviously. So it could actually help out a lot. And if you guys don't know, this is a 2006 Kawasaki KOX 125, uh, one of the newest bikes added to. <laughs> the squad. This thing has the bogging issue when you go full throttle it bogs down. So maybe riding a little bit and get it back up and going might fix it because this thing was sitting for years outside. And as you guys know I did clean the carb and everything and it is spotless. But the carb might just need to be like tunes or something but right, let's see if there's any trails over here. I right, never gone over here. Let's try it out. Oh, this is sketchy. I've never been back here. Exploring new trails. Oh! <laughs> Tree down. Try and go around it. Oh, that's all poison ivy! Oh my, look at all that poison ivy. I think that's poison ivy. I'm not a plant expert, but that all there looks like poison ivy. Holy cow, look at jet ski! There's a jet ski back here! That is sick! I wonder if there's an engine in that. Might have to come back later and check that out. Oh wait. Never mind. Don't want to go over here. Do not want to go over here. Gotta turn around. I see him right over there. <laughs> the gearing on this bike is super short. I'm in third right now and I am just like chilling. Yeah, but for some reason it doesn't feel as powerful as my 110. But I'm sure it has a higher top speed. But there's a jet ski back there, no joke. No way. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so we were just talking for a little bit and it looks like that they are beginning to move down. Um, so they're leaving this area. So we're gonna wait just a little bit more. I'm gonna go out and record a little bit more. Dylan's gonna stay here. Thanks for staying out. Let me record this vid. Yeah, I'm gonna try and see if there's any more because every time I come here, there's new trails and everything. So definitely somebody comes over and makes some more. What I really like about this bike is that it it's like half, it's a pit bike, but also a dirt bike. It, it, it has a clutch. It has pretty much the size of a dirt bike, you know, big wheels. Like the Suzuki over there is a, you know, 100% pit bike. And this is like half and half, which I definitely like. And I mean, it would be definitely hard for me to choose uh, which bike I would have to pick from if I had to, you know, try and keep one. I might have to go with the KLX just because, you know, I can grow into the spike, but some people are just too big for the Suzuki. Like Dylan is like six, like four, and you know, it'll be really hard for him to ride that Suzuki because his knees will be like the throttle. Woo. Oh, that's a nice suspension. It's a five speed, so, I mean, I heard that they go go like 55, 60 about. Which isn't bad. I've gotten that uh, Suzuki to like. Oh. I've gotten that Suzuki to like 50 before. It probably could go faster. I mean, again, it is only like a three speed. Yeah, that bog. It doesn't really bog when it's at low end. Are they, are they far down or? Yeah. I'm gonna go check that out. Whoa! Oh, 
I've got good grip on these Jordans. <laughs> oh yeah, I see the orange jackets. I mean, they're starting to move down. The yeah, let's see if the engine turns over. Oh, she seized right up. They are. Yeah, they are walking down. Oh yeah, they are. All right, so we should be able to ride together soon. But like I said, I just don't want to risk you know, the bike's getting taken away or anything like that. I mean, this place is public property, so um, we are allowed to be here. I don't know if the guy was saying hey to me before or to someone else, but like I said, I just don't want to risk it. Oh yeah, that box starting to go away. It's starting to clear up a little bit. So Dylan's being a champ and he's gonna uh, record some third person shots for you guys so you can see how this thing looks from another perspective. I have been practicing wheelies on uh, on the Suzuki and the this bike, the KLX. I've been getting a little bit better, getting comfortable with, you know, popping the clutch and everything like that. Woo, sketchy, just a rear brake. It was sliding everywhere. But this is a really nice bike and if a lot of people ask what's the best beginner bike and honestly this is like a really good one um you know to learn with the clutch and you know just get used to dirt bike riding it's super lightweight <laughs> I was at too high of a gear for that. But like I was saying, it it's really an easy bike to ride. And I would definitely suggest it to anyone trying to get back into dirt bike riding. <laughs> so the future uh, plan for this bike is to definitely uh, clean it up, uh, get some new plastics for it, probably paint it up a little bit. I mean, mechanically, this thing is sound. It is nice. So other than that, Chain! <laughs> Whoa! Chain fell off. He appeared to have lost his chain. Oh, she's wedged. Oh, she is wedged in there. Can you explain to us what happened? I was repping her too hard. Alright guys, so we just got the chain back on. It was a little hard because of this big guard, but it's back on. I mean, the tension isn't bad when you sit on it. It gets tighter. I think it's just because I popped the clutch. But hopefully it doesn't fall off again. Right, I'm gonna go down there and check it out. I think they are starting to move down. Turn up the bike quick, listen. All right, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Sweet, now we can both ride. I'll let Dylan know. Alrighty guys, so first ride on the Kawasaki was good. I am really like this bike. Um, Oh, I thought I was in neutral. Yeah, but I really like this bike. Um, like I said before, if you guys are looking for a beginner bike, this K KLX 125, definitely a really, really nice one. But yeah, we'll let Dylan rip this around now. Um, like I said before, it uh, looks like that the workers are really far down now, so they shouldn't hear the pit bike. So now we can both rip, and it'll be an awesome time. So, Dylan, the bike is yours. Sweet, I'll take it home. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 